Hey guys, welcome back to a and K's Mystery Box. You've opened the mystery box. You've peered inside. And what did you find? A digital Amazon Wish shopping haul. Sort of. Okay, so I have some lovely packages here to go through and see how they work. And then we're going to test out some stuff today. Um, so this is kind of going to be a, 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 a shopping haul and a product review at the same time. Um, so I ordered a couple things off of Amazon, two things actually, because I thought they would help improve and enhance the ability to wave scissors around. Um, no, I thought they would improve the channel a little bit and give me a chance to film better quality for you guys. Um, no, it's not a new video camera. I mean, in a way it's a new camera, I guess, but I had been talking to Andrew about um, getting some sort of body camera for when we were at the reenactments and stuff, so that way I can film better when I'm in the tank and stuff like that, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing, and then it kind of just blends in with me, and I did not cut this tape at all. You think I know how to cut tape, but I don't. Rippy, rippy. Rippy, rippy. Rippy, rippy. So, last Saturday... I ordered two new body cams. One of them is supposed to be really secretive, and the other one is more of like a magnetic, like, sports kind of um, body camera. You, you, It's got like a magnetic mount that you put on and stuff like that. So that would be that. So what we have in here is the, the high-definition digital video camcorder pen and I know I know it's backwards I'm sorry I'm filming in selfie mode today I just I gotta see what I'm doing I don't feel like messing with with tripods and shit like that today so I know this is backwards but the point is is it's a it's a pen that is a security camera and I figured that something like this even though the words are backwards something like this would be perfect to use for when we want to do a follow me around at Walmart or whatever store we feel like going to because honestly the last follow around we did was pretty shitty um I mean it wasn't shitty it was fun to do it was fun to edit and I had a laugh making fun of myself but at the same time I realized that I really didn't get a lot of footage in of me going through the store because there were so many people and I, every time I lifted my phone up to start filming, people were giving me weird looks and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that if I can just put this on a pocket and turn it on, that people won't notice. And um, then I can actually get some decent footage for you guys from when I'm in the store and we can do a follow me around. So, snot time. <sighs> so the cool thing about this is it... Not only does it record video, but it also has like a flash drive, so that way you can just plug it into your computer and, you know, easy way to upload your videos to the computer. And I believe it films in, yep, 1080p or 720p. Is that, is that the same? Is there, are those options or is that just, am I just reading stuff like an idiot? No, 720 or 1080. I believe I ordered the 1080, but maybe, maybe there's an option to... To, to choose what type of, of uh, video you want. Oh yeah, and Princess is over here. She's in heat, so if you just see her randomly rubbing up on stuff, like the box, or if you just see something move out of nowhere, don't worry, I did not require telekinesis, or acquire telekinesis throughout the weekend. I just have a cat who's in heat, and she just wants to rub up on everything and be annoying. But we love kitty cats, so... Stop, okay? Kitty cat, kitty cat, you're poking yourself in the eye with a box. Yeah, rub on the sock package, that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Anyway, so I'm trying to get the boxes open. Tape today is just not my best friend. Okay. Ooh. So it's a pretty thick pen, like a typical business pen. And I believe it's a functioning pen as well. Like, not only does it work as a camera, but it also works as a pen. Yeah, a little pen tip so that way you can make it look like you're writing on something. 
and it works. It, it actually writes. I should probably tear that off so you guys can actually see it. See? Little, little mark right there. And just to prove that I'm not lying, la 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 la, and there's a second mark for you guys. All right, that's actually kind of cool. So I don't know, this doesn't come with any charging, so I'm assuming it charges when you plug it into the, um, hello, into the computer. There's really no instructions with this either. Multifunction, easy to use, blah, 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 but no instructiones. Unless it's underneath here. Oh, it is, and it comes with a charging cord. The amazing things when you remove layers of packaging. Okay, so, let me just close this up. So apparently, from what I read on Amazon, you're supposed to be able to click up here and it turns the camera on and then you're supposed to be able to attach it to whatever you want and go walk around like a Yahoo. And you can't really tell that it has a camera on it because the camera is so small, you guys. Look at that. I don't know if you, how well you can see that. I don't know how well that's going to zoom in. But yeah, like right above the um, clip thing, paper holder, you know what I mean, the clip. It's the lens. So that's kind of cool. And let's see what the instructions say. So it's got a warranty policy, which I did not pay for, so I don't think that's in effect. And it's got a lovely little owner's manual. How to find USB charging hole, USB port. All right, so this is a USB adapter. You plug it into the, to the thing when you want to plug it into the computer, and then that's how you upload your stuff. Very simple. So press the power on off. Blue flashes three times, then turns off, and then the camera's on. Two seconds so you got to hold it for two seconds blue indicator flashes one time turn off and then that'll be that so you can add an SD card to this I believe this was twenty seven dollars without the SD card and then it was like 42 with the SD card so I got it without because I figured if I'm just uploading it to the computer should not have an issue with um, with it sticking around but watch it doesn't work i need an sd card for it to work so it says you're supposed to hold it and the blue flashes three times yeah we're fucked so um pretty simple finding the USB, I guess you just twist it and it comes right off. Just unscrews here and then you have your lovely little um, USB trinket here. So put that there and put this here. So it's supposed to go like this. Oh, they both look the same. I guess it really doesn't matter what side does what. Hmm. Is that right? I feel like this isn't right. Well, maybe it is right. I don't know. Um, <laughs> now we gotta figure out where we're gonna plug it in at. I was plugging it in, I managed to get it to turn on, and I think it recorded me for about three seconds. So, if I did get anything recorded, we can see what that was and I'll put it right here for you to enjoy real quick and then we can see how the footage is footage is later but it says in the instructions that it takes three hours for it to charge so I don't think I'm gonna be taking it to Walmart with me today because that's a bit long and it's already almost five o'clock in the afternoon and I don't feel like going to the store at seven o'clock at night when I have to be in work at like midnight so the next cam that I got I figured this is what I'll use for my reenacting stuff, and um, it is a smaller body camera, but it's magnetic, or it has a magnetic stamp. I don't know. Something about it is magnetic. So 
so I figured it would be easy to apply to my helmet. You know, just have the stand on the back end of my helmet and then have it be, you know, like magnetic through, like you do like through clothes with name tags or something like that. I don't know. It sounds smart at the time, but watch is not going to go as the way I want it to. Because we already have one camera that's kind of going to charge. And the thing is, is it's like it lit up, but it didn't like light up. It says it's supposed to light up a yellow indicating light. Yeah, I don't know. Short press one time, standby mode. Okay. I think I did that. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. I'll troubleshoot it today and we'll figure it out. Right, princess? I totally did not notice you just walking in and inserting yourself into this video. Princess. Princess. Kitty kitty. Hi. Okay. So, while she's busy looking at empty boxes, we are going to open up the next one. And tape is kicking my butt once again. I think every package that I've opened today has had tape issues. So again, apologize for the backwards wordage, but take a mirror to the camera or whatever. I'll just cover the words so I don't know you. But the camera looks like this, and it's supposed to be small, circular, and magnetic. And it's not small, but it is circular, and I'm hoping it's magnetic. So... Okay, so here is the camera in its glory, and it's an HD camera just like the other one, and it's just a small circle princess, really. Okay, honey bunny. All right, go down, go down. So rub on the floor, and within seconds, she's rubbing on the floor. All right, so there's the camera there, so I figured either wear it on my uniform, went in the tank so that no, nobody can really notice me. Or, some, or put it right here or in my shirt where people don't really notice something. But it's supposed to come with a mount that is magnetic or something, like a clothes clip. And it, ooh, this is magnetic. Because it's, 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 it's sticking to the USB thing. As is these things. So, there's adhesive tape. And then there is, um, I don't know what this is. Is this another magnetic thing? Oh yeah, so this is the thing, so like if you want to, for example, I'll show you guys. So let's say I wanted to wear it on my shirt today like this. Just clip it like that, and there you go. Now I'm ready to go and spy on Russian spies. So that's that, that's kind of cool. And I like that it comes with a mount too. And the mount has sticky tape, so, and the mount is like a 360 tilty mount type thing. Don't know if I'll put that on my helmet or if I'll just leave it as is. I am going to test it out this way first because um, this is how I wanted to do it. The magnet doesn't feel as strong as I was hoping, but it, it, it's, got, it's got some power behind it. So, and then we got other adhesive tapes for the um, mount in different sizes, it looks like maybe adhesive for this in case we wanted to stick this to the wall or something i don't know but that's kind of cool with that so let's read the instructions and see how long it takes to charge this one because chances are it's probably the same thing three hours right for the first use fully charge the camera while charging the the light blue will flash steady blue the camera is fully charged charging time is about 90 minutes Wow, okay, so the pen takes three hours, but this little thing takes 90 minutes. All right, so it says connect it to the adapter. We'll see if we can't get it plugged in right here, like I was trying to do with the other one. It didn't seem like it wanted to work with... They both come. They both have adapters that are supposed to work, but it didn't come included, but it's the regular USB, so I figured a phone charger would be, not be a problem. But for some reason, I didn't get any charging light with the um, thing. And that noise is Princess scratching on cardboard. She's got, like, cardboard toys and stuff that's, like, for sharpening claws and stuff. So when she's, when she's in a mood, she will, um, she will do that. So 90 minutes isn't bad, to be totally honest. But I'm not going to go into Walmart with this because this is too obvious that I'm wearing a camera. 
I figured that this would be perfect just for, um, for reenacting and stuff like that. And lo and behold, it lights up perfect. So I will charge that for 90 minutes and give it a good test while we, while I wait for the other one to charge. So that is the body cameras that I got. Um, obviously I can't review them right now. I'll probably will just cut out at when I'm done reviewing the next product and we will come back in after things have been fully charged and stuff like that. So no problem there. Um, I may take a minute to look and see if, if there's any camera footage on the pen just to see like how it is. Just to give you guys a very, very um, simple base testing of the cameras. Unfortunately, it's going to be in my house as to um, out in public. But I am going to be filming a follow me around as soon as the, camera, the pen camera is charged. May not be today. Might be tomorrow. Who knows? But anyway, so the last product... I ordered off the Wish. I actually have a couple packages coming from the Wish throughout the month, so we will be constantly coming back in with Wish review um, stuff. But as you guys probably have seen with my music videos, I tend to do sometimes three characters, uh, three versions of myself. And to shortly explain that, at one time I was doing like a musical series and I was trying to do like a storyline with the music that I was covering at the time and I was playing all the different characters and stuff like that. So to different, differentiate the characters, I had wigs and stuff like that that I acquired over from Halloween and Amazon and stuff like that. Well, the purple spiky haired wig that I have, it's... It's almost four years old, and it's kind of, it's junky. It's, I, I got that from, like, Party City or something, and it's my favorite wig. I love it to death, but it's starting to, like, the ends of it are starting to clump together, and parts of it are, are there's parts of it, like, there's, there's bald spots from when hair just kind of fell out of it. So I found a nice replacement wig on Amazon, and it's another purple wig. Because I've always wanted purple hair, but with the whole reenacting thing, I can't have purple hair. So I figured this today would be that. But it was interesting. I ordered this along with a couple other things on Wish all at the same time. No, no, no. Kitty, kitty. My cat was just rubbing against the cord for the camera and she would have, like, knocked it on the floor. Go away. Go away from that. Okay. You have to rub your butt on me right now. Seriously. Okay, so, um, I ordered this with a couple other things on the Wish, as I was saying, and it told me that it would process the order at, like, July 20th, and then it told me, like, it was going to be arri arriving July 31st, and then for just, like, shits and giggles, I clicked on this particular item this morning when I got home from work, and it was, like, last seen... And it was the town that I live in. And it's like, oh, it's already in town. So I figured I'd be getting it today. Which surprised me because Wish doesn't take that fast. As we all, like I said before, normally you wait a good three months for Wish to come through and finish your stuff. So. It's got interesting long words. Um, so it's called the... Mm, I have to look that word up. It's like Mayite hair curly long 26 inch synthetic long front wig. So it's just a whole wig. And now the plastic is kicking my butt. We should just name this video the day that Carl got his ass kicked by tape and plastic. Okay. There we go. Show a little strength, Carl. Come on. All right. So the wig, I believe, because you know the Wish, it'll tell you, like, the original price, and then it'll tell you the actual price. The wig was, like, $63, but I was only paying $43 in shipping. And at the time that I ordered this, Wish had a deal going on that it, um... Oh, it comes with a wig cap. Awesome. I needed one of those. I lost the one that I had um, Wish had a thing where it was like, if your order altogether is above $35, I 
shipping was free. So I ordered a shit ton of shit, and I think, like, spent, like, 80 bucks. But shipping's free. So this is a bit of a longer wig than, I mean, it's it's the same length as the um, wig that I currently am replacing. But it's definitely more flamboyant and curly and stuff like that. And it's supposed to be, like, synthetic real hair. Don't know about that. It looks like real hair. Just feels like wig hair, so. Alright. So, this is that. Wow, I feel like I'm holding a princess's head. Really. Oh, it's in a lovely little net. I was like, I was seeing these strings. I'm like, what is this? Like, this here, I was seeing this in the wig. And I'm like, oh my god, why? What is it? And then I remembered that it comes in like a little net to hold it in. So that way it doesn't get like crumpy in your drawer if you have to put it in a drawer or something which is great because that's my issue right now is the one wig does not have like a net like a protective net like this which I might just save the plastic too and just put it back in the plastic when I'm not using it because we all know wiggy needs a hairstyle yeah enjoy that princess loves paper so have at it so all right I'm trying to peel it back nicely here it smells like shampoo it smells wonderful and the curls oh my god oh my god look at the curls it's got lace on the front that i have to trim i i never understood that what was the whole thing with this with this extra lace like i've seen it a couple times on the wish and it's always deterred me from ordering one of these because it's like it would show the mannequin and then it would have this this lace thing in front i never understood that but I guess you just, you trim it off once you buy it, and then it looks good. Which I will do very precisely with very nice scissors, not the scissors that are sitting there. So let's put this on real quick and just see what we want to see. Okay. Wow. Whoa, I look like Bob Marley or something. Or what's his, um... Almost Kenny G-ish, like, shaky. It's very, flump like, I'm, I'm looking myself in the camera. It's, like, very flumptuous and bouncy and fun to play with. The lace is very soft and annoying on my forehead. Like, I can feel it there. I gotta trim it. And the hair's getting in my face and stuff like that. But I, I'm digging this look. Like, this, this can be the new wiggy look, you guys. Let me go get my glasses. We gotta do this. We gotta do this right. You will annoy me. Hold on. The new wiggy look, you guys. What do you think? Like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> I'm like enjoying myself here. And it smells. I know this is and this sounds weird, but this sound this smells really nice. And actually, it looks good for a, a male person. Like I know this is a female wig, but like honestly, this is good. I just gotta cut the lace here. I can feel it. I don't know if you guys can really see it though. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. But from far away, you probably can't. But yeah, I'm loving this wig. I definitely love it. I'm gonna have to like wear it out in public. No, I'm just kidding. If, if I wore this out in my public, Andrew would kill me. But um, poof, and I can like put it back, tie it up in like a ponytail, all kinds of shit. Cause it feels like real hair, so. All right, so that is it for the um, haul portion of the video. Definitely giving the wig a 10 out of 10 right now because I can review that. That's the only thing I can review right now. Um, yes, yes. I'm like enjoying myself because it just... I'm trying to think what it smells like. It smells like really fancy shampoo. They probably use like a fancy wig shampoo or something. But I, I like it. It's nice and soft. It's not itchy like the other one. And it's not hot either like the other one. And the hair isn't coming out of it either because it's not a cheap-ass wig. So definitely love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, children of the corn. So we are back with more updates on the cameras and stuff like that. I unfortunately do not have them with me for this Walmart trip, which is kind of bum-sucky because I really wanted to do a follow-me-around today. So that's why I'm kind of just doing a car vlog on top of this product review video. Um, right now, um, to give a verdict on the cameras, I'm kind of torn because... Um, so, 
the pen camera doesn't seem like it wants to do anything. It seems like it's plugged into the computer, but it, there's no indication light that's charging. So I don't know if it actually is charging or not. I'm just gonna wait the three hours and see if it does anything. If it does, cool, awesome beans. I'll do a follow me around tomorrow. No big deal. I, I'm not. I'm not upset or anything. It's it'll it'll work one way or another. The other camera seems to be charging fine. It's been 90 minutes. I haven't tried it yet. Um, when I get home, I will I will do like a quick test try and I'll insert the footage at the end of this video just to see like how the magnetic camera will do. Um, but as of right now, it seems that the pen camera needs an SD card in order to function because I plugged it into the computer. It's, it, I, again, I don't know if it's charging or not, um, but there's no file that pops up that says camera lens, whatever, to just view the files or whatever, so obviously I need an SD. Did not know that. I'm not a tech guru. Do not hit me with a rock. Maybe that's something that I needed. I don't know. I should have just spent the $42, extra, you know, the, the $42 as to the 27 and gotten the camera that actually works. I don't know. But luckily, they sell micro SD cam, you know, SD cards at Walmart because we just recently bought one for Andrew's phone, so that shouldn't be a problem. I can figure that out, no big deal. But until I can get that figured out, I'm obviously not going to be using it until I can be sure that it's working properly. Um, and then on top of that, I got to figure out how I'm going to even get it to connect to my computer because as of right now, my computer does not have an SD card slot to put anything into the computer to upload files or anything. I have a flash drive that does um, regular memory cards for like cameras and stuff, but I don't know if it does micro SD cards. So I'm going to have to see if Walmart has anything of that nature where I can just plug it in and, and figure it out because right now, I, right now, if, if I can't get that figured out, that camera is pretty useless or I would have to plug it into a different computer or something, so, but I don't have a different computer to use, so. Dilemmas in the Dalai Lama. Um, so, I am currently at Walmart. I have just a rivet, not that far from Walmart, and, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in, get my shopping, figure shit out, and then hopefully I figured out within the next day or so how the camera works so we can just jump right into a follow me around um until then i'm just gonna candy keep it hush hush so i have been messing with these cameras the devil's playthings for about a good almost two hours i went out bought an sd card and then read in the instructions when i got back that it needed in the pen one needed an eight gigabyte and I think I bought 32 by accident. Okay, that's on me, I should have read first. Um, but then this magnetic one, which on Amazon, it read, I believe, magnetic body camera. It is a magnetic Wi-Fi camera. So it wants me to connect to different, like it makes its own hotspot, it makes me wanna to connect to shit, it wants me to download apps and shit. I don't know what this is, and to be completely honest, it has a mind of its own. Sometimes I'll go to turn it off, and it'll just turn back on. So I don't know if I really like these products or not. I thought they would be cool to use for reenacting and stuff like that, and then the follow me around store idea, as I thought I had. But um, I am definitely giving these cameras both a, well, this, this one right now, this magnetic one, complete zero. I am not happy with this one at all. This one's pissing me off. It's creeping me out and pissing me off. And then as for the pen one, I was able to get the SD card to, like I got it to record. It recorded a video, it recorded multiple videos, but for some reason, when I go to upload the footage onto my computer, that's when it wants to tell me that the file's corrupted or whatever, so. I would have to troubleshoot this one because the camera, here's the thing. The pen camera should be simple. Point, click, and video to record. That's all it should do. That's what I wanted to, the same for this one was just to be able to just turn it on, record, upload the image, and then make a video or whatever based on that. 
So far, I am not happy one bit. I'm kind of disappointed that stuff didn't work out today. Um, the camera pen, I'm still kind of unsure right now because, I mean, I could be doing it wrong. I may have the wrong SD card. I may have just completely fuggered it up. Don't know what to do there, but I'm definitely tempted to return this smallest Wi-Fi cam. I was all, ooh, big magnetic woohoo, but it's definitely not what I wanted. And I'm going to have to recheck and reread what I read on Amazon because pretty sure it did not tell me that it needed to do all this shit and all these different apps and shit. Like it wanted me to download this, this app. It wanted me to download that. And then it wants me to unload or connect to its Wi-Fi and then turn on the app and do all different types of stuff. And it's just, it's, it's confusing and to be completely honest, a little scary. I just want a simple camera, not one that somebody can access from the outside. Like I'm not, no. So this is going immediately back in the box until I can figure out what, what to do with it. Ugh. So far, the only, thing, the only good thing I got today was the fucking wig so far. And I'm just a little disappointed. So, um, thank you guys for joining me on this lovely brain hair pulling adventure of body cams. I don't even know why I thought this was a good idea. I thought it'd be something fun to do, but it was just ended up being a waste of money. So I'm going to have to definitely send shit back. So thank you guys for watching so, so much. And today is definite fail. So bye.